In today's episode, you will learn how to make a powerful variable power supply or a motor driver using only one MOSFET IRF1404. This variable power supply can be used to power up different types of DC loads. You can power up DC fans or even you can power up large electric bicycle motors without any problem. The programming is done in such a way that the MOSFET stays cool. And when I touch the MOSFET, I really don't feel any increase in the temperature. As you know, normally when you control such a heavy motor, the MOSFET really gets hot. But in this circuit, it stays cool. This is just because that I'm not using the actual pulse fit modulation. I will explain this in the programming. This is a 250 watts DC motor, which I will use in an electric bike. For more heavy motors like for example 1000 watt DC motors, I will use multiple MOSFETs in parallel and will use a MOSFET driver to control the MOSFETs. So subscribe now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. In this episode we will cover number 1 complete circuit diagram explanation, number 2 interfacing, number 3 programming and finally number 4 testing. Let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As you can see the circuit diagram is really simple. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin S0 of the Arduino while the other two legs of the variable resistor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. This variable resistor will be used to increase and decrease the voltage. The 2N2222 NPN transistor is used to drive the MOSFET. This transistor is turned on and turned off using pin number 3 of the Arduino. The emitter of the 2N2222 NPN transistor is connected with the ground while the collector is connected with the 12 volt power supply through a 10k resistor. Instead of using 2N222, you can also use an optocoupler like EL817. If you want to learn how to use an optocoupler, then you can watch my tutorial on zero crossing detector. I will provide a link in the description if in case you want to watch this tutorial. The IRF1404 is a power MOSFET capable of handling the fast switching and can be used with voltages up to 40 volts and can handle currents up to 202 amps at a temperature of 25C. Leg number 1 is the gate, leg number 2 is the drain and leg number 3 is the source. The source of the IRF1404 MOSFET is connected directly with the ground of the external power supply while the drain will be connected directly with the ground wire of the DC load. While the positive voltage wire from the external power supply is connected with the positive of the DC load. The external supply voltage can be between 0 to 40 volts. As the IRF1404 can handle voltages up to 40 volts. For higher voltages you can use any other power MOSFET. Make sure you don't connect the ground of the external power supply with the ground of the controller supply. All the connections are exactly the same as explained in the circuit diagram. This is the IRF1404 power MOSFET. For higher loads make sure you fix this MOSFET on heat sink. The connection of the IRF1404 MOSFET with the external power supply and with the driver circuit is really simple. As you can see from here the voltage wire is connected with the drain of the MOSFET through this terminal block. I have connected two wires with the terminal block to connect DC loads. White wire is the positive while black wire is the ground. When we rotate this variable resistor we get different voltages and can easily control the DC loads like for example we can control this heavy electric bike motor. We can control small DC motors even we can connect DC light bulbs and control the light brightness. The power supply ground is connected with the source leg of the MOSFET. 
This is the gate of the IRF1404 MOSFET, which is connected with the driver circuit based on the 2N2222 NPN transistor. This is a 330 ohm resistor connected with the base of the 2N2222 NPN transistor, while this is a 10K resistor connected with the collector of the 2N2222 NPN transistor, and over here we connect 12 volts. This is the variable resistor which is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino, while the white and grey wires are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. Now let's discuss the programming. The programming is really simple, I'm not using any libraries. I started by defining a pin for the variable resistor. The 2N2222 NPN transistor travel circuit is connected with the Arduino's pin number 3. The variable flag is used to stop the unnecessary evolution of code and is also used to turn on and turn off the power supply, which later I will explain. Serial dot begin 9600 activates the serial communication while 9600 is the baud rate. This is only used for the debugging purposes. Then set the PWMV as output and resistor as the input. Then starts the while loop function. Integer data is equal to analog read resistor. Simply reads the variable resistor and store the value in variable data. Then using the map function we limit the minimum and maximum value. After checking I found that 0 to 80 are the best values. Then using the F conditions we check the value of the variable resistor and then accordingly change the flake status. If the value is greater than or equal to 80, then change the flake status from 0 to 1. If the value is less than 80, then change the flake status back to 0. Now depending on the flake status, we turn off or turn on the supply. So if flake equals equals 1, then turn off the supply. High means off. If flake equals equals 0, then turn off and turn on the PWMV pin using the variable resistor mapped value is the delay. So by rotating the knob of the variable resistor, we can change the delay. As the delays are in milliseconds, the MOSFET get enough time for the cooling when in off state. This program can be downloaded from a blog page. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. As you can see, 12 volt power supply is connected with the Arduino MOSFET driver circuit and with the MOSFET itself. Let's connect a digital multimeter. Currently the voltage is zero. Now let's use the variable resistor to control the speed of the CPU fan. This is the maximum speed and 11.5 volt is the maximum voltage I'm getting out of the 12 volt adopter. Using the variable resistor, we can increase and decrease the speed of the DC motor so fast. Now let's connect the electric bike motor. The speed is low as it's a 24 volt motor. But still so you can see how easily I can control the speed. It's really hard to start this motor. The MOSFET is still pretty cool as if no load is connected. Normally when you use such a heavy motor, the MOSFET quickly gets hot. But as you can see, I can touch the MOSFET with bare hands. Even at lower voltages, the MOSFET remains cool. Still the MOSFET is cool and I don't feel any increase in the temperature. Next time I will use this with a 24 volt power supply and will update the circuit by replacing the 2N2222 NPN transistor with the MOSFET driver IC. While in third version I will use multiple MOSFETs in parallel to control motors up to 1000 watts. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching. Kya us gali se kabhi tera jana hua Jaha se zamane ko guzre zamana hua Mera samay to wahi pe tehra hua बताऊं तुम्हें क्या मेरे साथ क्या क्या हुआ खामोशियां अल्फाज़ हैं